Hello perfect beauties, my name is Daisy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you top 10 tips to get rid of a sore throat. Now when I was younger I got sore throats all the freaking time and I actually developed Quincy which is what George Washington um, um, died of. Basically one day I had such a bad sore throat that I woke up and I couldn't breathe because my tonsils are so enlarged and so I had to get like an operation done where they had to cut um, the puss out of my throat. Anyways, don't even get to that point. Let me tell you guys what um, I have done to help combat a sore throat. So the first tip is to gargle your throat with warm salt water. So all you gotta do is take a cup of water, put it in the microwave, add some salt, add like a spoonful of salt, mix and gargle. Now make sure the water is not too, like, um, is not too hot. And you can repeat this um, a few times over the day, especially before you go to bed. And what salt water does is it's like an antiseptic, so it'll clean out all the bacteria in your throat. So the next one is to use th sore throat lozenges. So there's different kinds of lozenges that can actually numb the area of your throat to make it easier for you to eat or drink. Because I know that when you get a sore throat, it's super, super painful. And then you can also use um, cough drops or Ricola or things that have vitamin C or menthol to kind of soothe the pain. Three, you can also use sore throat spray. So there's one called Sepacol or Sepacol that you can spray in the back. And like the lozenges, it will numb the area of the throat. But make sure you don't go over the exceeded use because if you still have a sore throat, then it could mean that you have a more serious infection like I did. So definitely go see a doctor. Fourth tip is soothe your sore throat pain with a warm compress. So all you have to do is take a, like something that's warm, either a, um, do people still own those, like those, um, what is it, hot water boilers or those things you like boil water and you put in a bag, it was like in the old days, what are they called? I'll put a picture here, but it's like one of those and then put it around a towel and kind of put it along your throat to soothe the pain or you can get ones, um, I think they're by Therma, Thermacare. I use them for like menstrual cramps and for neck pain and stuff, but you can probably get one and put along the back of your neck or wherever your throat hurts. Oh, it's called a hot water bottle, oh my goodness. I feel like that's so like 1950s, you know? Number five is honey, ginger, lemon, tea, warm liquids. Amazing, my mom still even makes this for me when I get a sore throat, thanks mommy. <laughs> so what you need to do is just get some chamomile tea, some lemon ginger tea, some um, green tea, whatever it is that has like ginger, lemon, or honey, tons of brands have this. And then on top, add some lemon and honey yourself, stir it, and may maybe you can go to the grocery store and like um, put a few like ginger, pieces of ginger, let it steep in the hot water until it's lukewarm, and then drink. This is an amazing treatment for your sore throat. Six is to use humidifier, so, um, I grew up in Minnesota, so it was like super, super dry air, so we would have a ton of humidifiers when the heater was on. If you don't have a humidifier, I like to hang like, um, I guess like wet or damp towels around, or you can spray things around your face, like a bottle of water to spray on your face just to keep the air around you moist. Seven is to use a steam treatment. This is one of my favorites. All you gotta do is I just take some hot water, I pour it in a bowl that is kind of shallow, and then I add some eucalyptus or peppermint oil, allow that steam to kind of rise through your nostrils and your mouth and all that, and it feels so, so good, and it'll help kind of clear any of the congestion or any of the sore throat pains that you might have. What you can also do is take the vitamin C beauty elixir from Banish and spray that in your little steam um, in your little steam water thing because the vitamin C elixir has a ton of eucalyptus and peppermint oil and it's all natural so in case if you inhale it you're okay and also I think it has vitamin C elizorbic acid so it won't hurt for your immune system right nine is to take pain reliever relievers such as Tylenol or ibuprofen now if you do have a fever accompanying your sore throat or if you do take these pain relievers for longer than the recommended amount of time, you need to see a doctor because again, a sore throat could signal a bacteria infection like strep throat or tonsillitis or even a more severe infection, so you definitely need to get that checked out. Nine is chicken soup. Oh my goodness, I love chicken soup. Do you remember Chicken Soup for the Soul by Jack Canfield? Well, I love chicken soup for my sore throats and my colds. Oh, my mom makes the best chicken soup. Have a bowl of chicken soup. The broth and the sodium have antiseptic properties that will help clear the bacteria out of your body, hopefully, and get you to rest and relax and fight the infection off. The next tip is something that I have heard of, but I've never tried myself, and it is marsh marshmallows so just chew on a few marshmallows apparently the gelatin in the marshmallow could help soothe and ease a sore throat so 
I think it's a great excuse to go and get some marshmallows. Just say. Just say, convince your parents you need marshmallows because you have a sore throat. And the next is to get antibiotics. Now you will need a prescription and a test from your doctor. So in 10% of the cases, your sore throat can be because of a bacterial infection, which you will need antibiotics for. However, if it is a virus, the best thing you can do is try the remedies I talked about before and just wait for the virus to pass and to be fought off by your immune system. Go white blood cells. Go, go, go. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys do not have any sore throats for the winter because honestly, ever since I got, um, ever since I got my like Quincy episode, um, um, I like, if I have a tiny bit of a sore throat, I like take such big precaution. Like I stop everything that I'm doing and like make sure that I heal myself and rest because a sore throat is saying that your body is tired and it needs to rest. So do not ignore your body because it will come back to haunt you. So thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe because I make videos every Tuesday and Fridays. Bye.